Welcome now to the Professor of Business Administration, Management and Organizations and Strategy at the Ross School of Business, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor in the state of Michigan in the United States. He's also a former president of the Academy of Management, Jim Walsh. Nice to have you on board here at Gibbs. It's nice uh, to be here. And you've been very heavily involved in organizing the Academy of Management Africa Conference. So let me begin by asking you, what was your objective? The Academy has 100 and, uh, members from 117 countries um, and whatever the number is, pushing 20,000 members. I noticed that there were 93 members from the entire continent of Africa. Uh, and the, uh, the vision of, of the Academy is to inspire and enable a better world through our scholarship about management, organi scholarship about management organizations. Um, and so there was just a sense of there's a billion people here, there are robust economies, there's need to be sure, and many people on the outside see the need in Africa, but of course there's dynamism here, an incredible entrepreneurial spirit and innovations of various kinds. Uh, so I had the sense of that, that it's been ignored by um, the international scholarly community, and I wanted to bring, if you will, the world to Africa and Africa to the world. Why Johannesburg? Why Gibbs? On the practical matters, we needed to find an airport that uh, hub cities, and we also needed to find a place that's safe and with amenities so that people from around the world could get here easily and feel comfortable here. Uh, Gibbs is another story. Uh, Gibbs is, is known to, um, to the world or for people that are paying attention as, an in a, as a representation of the innovative spirit inside of, of Africa and the innovative practices inside of Africa. Um, so when you're looking for partners um, in Africa, what better place than to be in a leading edge uh, business school on, on the continent. So that's the background. Conference is over. Has it met your objectives? Uh, again, with all humility, I think so. Um, uh, you know, you, uh, it would be good to probably wait a week and, and tell me we are now just hours from, from the conclusion of the conference, and my head is swimming with the, uh, the mass of sights and senses and sounds and conversations, um, uh, and I haven't slept much in the past, in the past 12 hours, but um, I, I come away with a... Uh, um, Again, a humble sense of satisfaction, but of deep satisfaction that I think we've done something here, um, both for the people here that have been at this conference, and the, and the testimony has been quite um, heartwarming, for lack of a better word, uh, but I'm also aware, as something of an institutional entrepreneur, um, that there's symbolic value in what we've done here, and that um, this will catalyze other institutions to uh, perhaps think, uh, think again about the potential uh, in and for Africa. Now I'd be curious to know what you personally have gained from this, if you've had time to gain anything personally. You've been deep, deep in the organization of the conference. Your website says you're interested in how and how well corporations serve society. What have you observed here in South Africa? I've, I've observed the, um, actually the potential for organizations to do good from within the business model. And um, given the, the learning journeys that we have uh, organized for our participants, uh, I found myself drawn to the ones that were focused on housing. And again, from the outside, I know that um, housing is a big issue for, for this country, and, and I think there's still a shortfall of 2.5 million homes for people. So I was, I was interested to see how that need is being met. And I know that the government has been involved, but um, what has been uh, uh, exciting um, and inspirational at the same time is I've been learning about um, for-profit uh, enterprises that are entering into this quote-unquote space uh, to try to make a difference and we have seen two, two such organizations here operating at different segments of the housing market that are blending financial objectives and social objectives um, to provide housing for the, um, the absolute poorest of the society and um, I could go on in detail as to what I've learned but uh, both the, the fact of their initiatives and, and perhaps, perhaps even more importantly uh, the inspirations and aspirations and commitments of the people behind these initiatives are what will, will stay with me for some time. Jim, you, you've also worked extensively all over the world connecting students and business to societal well-being, kind of stuff you've been talking about. How, how could we do that better here? That's a good question. Um, what, I, what I found over the years is that you, you can have uh, grand aspirations and you can think about institutions and uh, institutional entrepreneurship um, but it all happens at the individual level um, and, I, and I always work between those two levels as I, you, you will think about what you might do when you have the, the opportunity to say work with a, an organization like the Academy of Management 
um, to establish some principles and build some momentum and gather others with us. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's individuals, it's people, it's the kind of people working for those housing solutions. And so what I've been drawn to in, in all of my professional work is operating at both levels. Um, and with respect to the students is to engage them as humans and then bring them, um, if you will, face to face with the challenges and the opportunities. And that's why I take my students with me uh, as best I can all around the world. And that's why um, the model for this conference was very different from our quote unquote normal Academy of Management meeting in that we uh, created these learning journeys to bring faculty face to face uh, with the needs and the opportunities and the, and the um, inspirational stories of those that are trying to marry opportunity and need. So you're very involved in the professional organization, your professional organization, the Academy of Management, you're a past president. Let me ask you if management scholars need to adapt their thinking or their approach to the problems posed by business in Africa. Uh, behind that question is a, um, a long um, debate, if not tension, about professional education and business. And, the, and the, 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 uh, the, the question is, do you stay close to the science and to the theory and look for generalizable principles about the nature of business and then deploy them in, in context? And or do you embed yourself in environments such as this to, to um, sense and find questions that need to be addressed and then the question is how do you answer them and you may answer them from from theory um, but the challenge is to is to combine the two and um, I think sometimes we make the mistake that each each individual needs to be operating in both both domains um, and in fact uh, each university might even be operating in both domains and I think there's an opportunity for, if you will for division of labor is that some people I think need to embed and need to uh, understand in a, in, a, in a quite compelling and personal way the situation and, and from the point of view of the protagonists that are living in that environment. Uh, and we also need people that can somehow get some distance and separate and look for patterns um, uh, across this, this, situ this context as well as in how it relates to the world. Final question. Is there a single image you're going to take back to Ann Arbor from this conference? The most abiding image of the, of the conference will be uh, at the very end of the, of the event last night, at the, when, when all the speeches were done and the remarks were made and we all spoke to each other and, and uh, gave uh, appreciation and thanks to each other for the past, the past week, um, I had this moment where I just sort of sat back and looked over the scene of, of that, of that um, you know, piece of humanity, if you will, uh, and it was just wonderful. There were people from uh, 38 countries at this conference and they were talking across what many people would see to be differences, differences in race, differences in gender, differences in the economy and socioeconomic status and paradigmatic differences and we were all one, um, united in our, our common experience and our common aspirations and I just sat there and took that in and um, truth be told that image, and it's more than an image, that's feeling, um, will stay with me for, for many, many years. Jim, it's been a privilege working with you and with uh, your team. Thank you for being with us. Thanks so much, Chris.